So dusk is upon us. We're now at Boro Bazaar, which means big market in Banyachong. So we'll have a gander at what's here. There's a roof above us, so that makes it unusual. It's there for all weather, I guess. And this appears to be the fish market. And look, the fish is so fresh. It's still alive. It's moving. Look at that there. Alaikum salam. Malam asal. And there's some more on this side too. And get your fresh fruit and veg from this man. Or rather the vegetables. And over here we have shutki or dried fish and it absolutely stinks this stuff. Only for the seasoned eater. And we have some street food delights here. And I'm gonna chance my arm at having a couple of these samosas or shingaras as they're known here in the circular form. So I'll grab one of these and good texture on them. They look as if they're gonna be crispy. Here it is close up. Taste test. Full of vegetables as in potatoes. Maybe lentils. It is delicious. Koto taka. And it's only five taka or five cents. Here's the inside of it. Have a closer look there. Hmm, delicious. And somewhat of a crowd has formed to watch me eat. This is amusing. <laughs> so, I guess they rarely get vloggers around in this village. But I've helped myself to the second one because they are absolutely delicious. So here's my entourage behind me. Half of Banyan Chong has turned up to watch me eat samosas or shingalas. Okay, so we're back to my cousin Al Hadi's house and this is Emran. So thank you very much to the both of you for accompanying me around Banyan Chong and showing me around. So folks, don't forget to like and subscribe and join me on the next vlog. Until yeah. then, Bye. Bye. Oh, right, we are out. Right in the hustle and bustle, the market area of Hobby Gunge Town. And it's after dusk, and people are stopping to stare at me. We've just got a Tom Tom ride into town. And this gentleman here, Hello. Sammy. Hello, what's up? We have been waiting about three years to meet, and we've yeah, been yeah. in constant contact online. And he's been dying to be in one of my vlogs. He only lives in Chunaragat, which is a couple of towns over from Hobby Gunge Town. And where are we now? What's this area called? Is this Chaudhry Bazaar? Yes. We are in Chaudhry Bazaar. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have a wander around the area and see what's out there. And this is the first. I've met a fellow Brit here, a British Bangladeshi chap called Kamrul. Pleased to meet you, Kamrul. Nice to meet you, Tim. Hi, everybody. Welcome to YouTube and Facebook. Thank you, thank so, you, thank so you. So you run a business here, don't you? Yes, I've got a couple of places down in town. Yeah. Uh, in Second Road, yeah. Uh -huh. Just five minutes walk. So, you uh, know, I'm only visiting for the time oh, being. All right, okay. Uh, so I'm, you're a man of leisure these days, I guess? No, not really. No. Business is business. So yeah. But you've got to take a break. You, go, you have to take yeah, a break. Yeah. Uh, it's nice to come back to Bangladesh to have a break. Yeah. Not going to other countries in Europe, uh -huh. as you know. But it's all, the benefit is you come and see family. Yes. Which is more important for everybody oh, else. Oh, to get run over by that truck there. <laughs> you <laughs> saved my life, sir. No problem, Otto. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, as I said, enjoy your blogging. Thank you. And uh, if you ever get the time, my place is down the corner. What's it called? Aziz Market. Aziz Market. Yeah, anytime pop in And there. if anyone else wants to check out Aziz Market, if you're in Hobby Gonj, you have to. And then camera will look after you. Not a problem. You're all welcome to it. No Thank problem. you, sir. Thank you very much. You're Have welcome. a good time. And whilst we're in this neck of the woods, 
we thought we'll try and search and look up an old friend. Do you all remember this guy? We're going to see if we can find him. So we're going to ask around, go to a few of his favourite haunts and fingers crossed with any luck how paths will cross this evening. So we've been told that this gentleman running this cafe possibly knows his whereabouts. So he's just giving us further instructions on where we can locate him. And so we're getting closer because this gentleman running this Hindu store has just told me he walked past about half an hour ago. Ediga Gesani. Acha, don't you bad. Thank you. Well, we could hear some unusual sounds and we're going to investigate them further. And we've just entered a Hindu temple. It looks like some kind of event which they are partaking in. So we'll get a closer look at that. If you can hear it above the bells. And I know very little about Hinduism. So if I have any Hindu viewers watching this, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and let me know what is going on. And here's another interesting spot which we're going to have a closer look in. And this looks like where they make the local Hindu deities. So we'll get a closer look at that. So as I said before, I'm not too familiar with the religion of Hinduism, but you have to admire the artwork which goes into creating these masterpieces. And so the quest continues. We've been guided down this alleyway. With fingers crossed, we might find even more signs of him, even though it's getting a bit darker, but there is light at the end of it, as you can see. And we're heading down another narrow alleyway with not much light. Still, we've been given a few more pointers to where he might be. So we're gonna chance going down this way. And good news folks, it looks like we found him. So there's a gentleman outside where he's staying. So he's gone in to look for him. So fingers crossed, he's gonna be happy to see me and he remembers me. Here he is. dusk now and we are going into a place called Rajbari which roughly translates to King's Home so we're gonna have a look at what's inside here it's an ancient building but it is interesting nonetheless good news now I'm Eh, no, no, no. 